Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your daily dose of zombies news from the game and community here on COD Zombies HQ. If you do enjoy today's video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button down below and subscribe if you're not already for more daily news updates. You guys are freaking awesome dropping 3,058 thumbs up on the last edition of the daily update, so let's see if we can do it again with 3,000 thumbs up on this video. I've got an awesome show for you guys today, so let's kick things right off with our first story. One of the mysteries surrounding Revelation since its launch was this skull in the Derizendrak portion of the map, where within the right eye of the skull there appears like a red button, or I've heard it called a blood vial. I know it's been considered a possible unfound easter egg by people like Glitching Queen and myself, just because it seems so out of place, so blatant that this must be used for something. Well today we got this post in the God Zombie subreddit by a redditor named Baskier935 with the title, I found what the blood vials or red button in the skull in Revelations really is with video proof. He linked to this video by GhettoFrosh1, which I would assume is the same person. And using a no clip on Revelation, he shows that that button or blood vial that we're seeing is actually the tip of a wine bottle. That a wine bottle asset is actually being used to create the impression of a button or something at the end of that skull. Now while this 100% doesn't discount this being some kind of unfound easter Egg. Odds are it's just some kind of sneaky asset trick used by Treyarch to maybe make us think that something was there when it actually isn't. But I never would have thought that button was just a wine bottle. You can actually see on screen now the same wine bottle asset on the Kino stage. So obviously it's just a reused asset from somewhere else in the map. Well that turned out to be kind of disappointing, but I guess it's nice that we finally uncovered the mystery of what that red button was. Just a wine bottle, who would have guessed? Moving on to our second story of the day, this one comes from a Reddit post by Makat Franoush, what a great name, entitled Dempsey's Going Insane. In the post, he brings up the fact that on Revelations, whenever Dempsey picks up a weapon from the mystery box, there are several different quotes corresponding to weapons wherein Dempsey kind of makes a rhyme with that weapon you now got. And what this Reddit user did is connected this to another character in Dempsey's original squad of four that was sent to rescue Peter McCain at Verrucht. His name was John or nicknamed Banana, and we got a little bit more backstory on him on Revelations. He actually had his own radio, wherein at the end of the quote, he says this, They call me Banana, I work at a cabana, I rhyme to keep myself sane. Though Smokey's dead, I'm holding his head, but right now he's eating my brain. And what this post is suggesting is that we're seeing Dempsey start to rhyme in game because he's using the same tactic that John Banana used in Verrucht, rhyming to try to keep himself sane. I'll leave a link to both the Reddit post and the Call of Duty wiki page on John Banana down in the description. Moving on to our third story of the day guys, today GameStop, the biggest games retailer in the United States, tweeted this out, hashtag power up rewards members, stay toasty this winter with his exclusive a toasted monkey bomb. Pop figure from Call of Duty coming soon. We knew that there'd be other Call of Duty themed pop figures coming out earlier this month, but this toasted monkey bomb figure is exclusive to GameStop Power Up Rewards members. I just got a kick out of one of the replies to this tweet where someone said, no thanks, I'll just use my Samsung Note 7 instead. <laughs> you gotta love Twitter. Well, that wraps up the news today. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, be sure to smash that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. It's nice to be doing another news video today. Still hoping we'll get some more Infinite Warfare Zombies news later this week. I also published another video today recapping the history of the concept of a super Easter egg within Black Ops 3 and ending with a discussion of where the community at now with this super easter egg so the annotation is on screen now for pc viewers links in the description for everybody else definitely go check out that video i want to thank you again for watching and i'll see you with another zombies news update tomorrow hey!